People say, where does the Ice Age fit into the Bible? There certainly was an Ice Age. There's not much question. Ice came all the way down to Kansas City, Missouri. How many of you are from Ohio or Indiana or Michigan or Minnesota or one of these states that are covered by ice? They used to be covered by ice, okay? Actually, this time of year, they're still covered by ice. But uh, there's all kinds of evidence around those states that you can prove there really was an ice age. <clears throat> when ice pushes out, it piles up a pile of rocks in front of it. When the rocks are left there, when the ice melts back, it's called a terminal moraine. If it pushes the rocks to the side, it's called a lateral, lateral moraine. When the ice melts back, it leaves behind lakes called Kettle Lakes. Minnesota, the land of 10,000 lakes, is full of Kettle Lakes. As the ice melts back, the ground actually lifts up because the weight is gone. The ground may lift up quite a ways. That's called isostatic rebound. There is no question those things actually happen. The question for the Christian is, where does this fit into the Bible? And what froze the mammoths? Some of the big, hairy, hippie elephants that are found frozen standing up, food still in their teeth. What happened to the mammoths? One year, it was reported that 20,000 mammoth tusks were uh, extracted from the ground. Just one year. 20,000 tusks. Estimates are that 5 million mammoths perished in one catastrophe. <clears throat> These red dots indicate where frozen mammoths have been found. The yellow dots indicate where frozen rhinoceros have been found. What happened to the mammoths? Well, some of the mammoths are frozen in the upright position. Their undigested food in their stomach and mouth is an interesting situation. They died of suffocation. There's no water found in the lungs. The small ice crystals in the blood indicate they probably froze in less than five hours. That requires something less than 300 below zero. Now, it never gets 300 below zero on Earth. The coldest temperature ever recorded from National Pornographic, uh, Geographic is minus 127 degrees. That's pretty chilly. But that's not cold enough to freeze the mammoths. What happened to freeze the mammoths? In 1999, I was uh, preaching in Alaska, and I took the little tour on the, to go out on a boat to see the Portage Glacier. And I'm standing next to this guy on the boat. I got talking to him, trying to witness to him. I said, what do you do for a living? He said, well, I drill for oil in Barrow, Alaska, near Barrow, Alaska. I said, well, when you drill down, do you find anything interesting down there? He said, you wouldn't believe the stuff we drill into down there. He said, just a few months ago, we were drilling down. We drilled through 1,000 feet of permanently frozen ground called permafrost, and we started bringing up pieces of wood. And we always take whatever comes out of the well and lay it out on the ground so we can get a sample, a core sample of what we're drilling through to know the formation. He said, we drilled straight through a tree that was standing up. The tree was 300 feet tall, standing up under 1,000 feet of permanently frozen ground. Well, I preached in Barrow, Alaska a couple years ago. There is only one tree in Barrow, Alaska, and it is about this tall in a Chinese restaurant, and they struggle to keep it alive because they don't get much sun up there for months at a time. There are no trees outside in Barrow, Alaska. There are certainly no trees 300 feet tall. There are very few trees in the world that are 300 feet tall. How do you get a tree 300 feet tall standing up under 1,000 feet of permanently frozen ground? What happened? I'm going to give you what I call the Hoven theory of what caused all these phenomena, but I need to review a little science for you. 